I was hungry, and you gave me food to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me a drink. I was stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you gave me clothes to wear. I was sick, and you took care of me. I was in prison, and you visited me. These words from Matthew's Gospel are convicting, aren't they? Jesus is teaching his disciples and, and those who are around about what it means to, to care for one another. And Jesus' answer is not about, here's what you do to somebody else. Rather, he turns it into a far more personal answer. When I, when I Jesus, was hungry, you fed me. When I was naked, you clothed me. When I was in prison, you visited me. Now, you have to imagine how this would have sounded. Jesus, we'll, we'll buy into the hungry thing and, and we helped you get some food, but prison? You, you weren't in prison. Naked? At, at least not outside your own choice. When did we clothe you? When did we give you something to drink when you were so thirsty you had nothing? You see, later in this passage, Jesus says, when you do this for anyone, your brothers and sisters in Christ, for a neighbor, for a stranger, you're doing it to me. You see, Jesus latches on to one of the, the most foundational pieces of our Christian theology, and Jewish theology for that matter. And that is that we are created in the image of God. We call it the Imago Dei, the image of God. We are created, breathed life into by God, who breathes the breath and the image of God into us. Does that mean that we all look like God? I don't know that God looks like really anything. But within us is something of God. And so when we do care for one another, we are caring for that image of God. We are caring for that creation of God. And so Jesus is 100% right. When you care for those who are on the outside, the hungry, the naked, the imprisoned, when you visit, when you feed, when you give drink, when you clothe, when you shelter, heck, when you love, you're loving me. And so let us love one another just as we are loving Christ. Amen. Thank you.